Jeb Bush isn't the only one for whom the prospective entry of Mitt Romney uh, changes the game. And if both of them decide to run, the presence of these two heavyweights would reshape the entire Republican nomination contest. The question mark is in what ways who would benefit if anybody would benefit, and who does this hurt most? The big winner, Chris Christie. Oh, come on. Seems counterintuitive, but to me, it seems Chris, insane. in a three-way race with Romney and Bush, two guys who cannot claim to be new, two guys who are not uh, uh, all that great with sharp elbows, right. they go at each other. Christie sneaks up the middle. And this is not a guy who can sneak that uh, easily, yes. but I think he sneaks up the middle. And it hurts Scott Walker. Well, I don't no, think Scott Walker, I never thought Scott Walker could raise serious money, but this makes it much harder for yeah, him. Yeah, I don't know. I think there's a chance that it really hurts Christie because, it, because of this donor thing, where Christie suddenly... These donors who already have concerns about him because of the orange sweater, because of Bridgegate, because of this, because of that, they just say, if we got to choose between Romney and Bush, we're going to stick with one of those guys. Either one is safer. Chris Christie knows how to raise money. It's a big, rich country that yeah. looks like the head of the, the finance chair yeah. of the Republican National Committee is yeah. quitting that slot to work for Bush. I work for Christie. I think Christie will have enough money to make a run. And again, he's got skills that the other two guys don't have. We should mention the notion Paul Ryan announced today that he's not going to run for president in 2016. Um, that, uh, that shrinks the establishment bracket a little bit. To me, the big winners here in general are everybody who's in the non-establishment bracket. We all assume broadly because of historical circumstances that the establishment, the establishment leader will be the nominee. The party may have changed enough this year to give some daylight to that anti-establishment wing. And if those three guys especially are all beating the hell out of each other, I'd say, you know, someone like whether it's Rand Paul or someone like that who can consolidate the grassroots wing could be the biggest winner from this. I, I see the establishment. If these three guys are on dominating the coverage, oh. and, and look, and these killing are killing each other. Rock them, sock them, robots. These are three guys who care about policy in a serious way. Well, you so, look at yeah, now, so no, no, but I'm talking about past yeah, establishment could, candidates. Yeah. You've had people like Bob Dole, John McCain, who are not guys who get really inner, immersed deep oh, into well, policy. I think of those guys as policy geeks you of the do, highest you order. Do not. Okay, R Christie. And Romney and Jeb Bush all think about policy, get down in the nitty gritty of details, all governors, they're not senators. Those guys would take up a massive amount of space. So people like Ted Cruz, Rand Paul, yes, there's some way in which their lane becomes a little bit more open, but the establishment lane dominates. I think I think it's bad news for those guys. I'll tell you who it's best for. Yeah. Journalists. Journalists. Yeah. Journalists also. Yeah.